for the last uh, three, four hundred years, um, the development of nations and at the global level has been very much on the needs of the body and the mind. In other words, our emphasis has been on material um, prosperity, material development, economic and social development. At least 80% of humanity lives on less than $10 US a day. And increasingly around the world now, uh, leaders, uh, people of uh, uh, great thinkers and organizations including the United Nations are now uh, beginning to realize that the focus on consumerism and materialism uh, is not the answer for the holistic advancement and well-being of humanity. In the world, there are ongoing international humanitarian operations in approximately 58 countries. From a Baha'i perspective, these two major aspects of life, material prosperity and spiritual prosperity, are equally important. If we focus too much on material development, we will not be as fully developed as we should be. Baha'is believe in the elimination of extremes of wealth and poverty. Baha'is believe women and men are equal. Baha'is believe world peace is the crying need of our time. Baha'is believe our economic problems are linked to spiritual problems. So Pacific peoples have got a lot to offer to society through the, the spiritual dimension of their cultures. You know, their family-based values, their ability to work together in harmony despite the diversity of society. <laughs> These are things that uh, Pacific peoples can contribute to New Zealand. And as I mentioned before, the Fono is a vehicle that the Baha'i faith has designed to enable Pacific Baha'is to better themselves materially and spiritually and offer that as some of the solutions to help their fellow uh, Pacific peoples here in New Zealand. <laughs>